friends, good morning. There's a Zika virus emergency with the CDC now reporting 388 travel-related cases nationwide. Florida has the most cases, and now some officials want to take action. What they're doing, they want to release swarms of genetically modified mosquitoes into a Florida key, the Florida Keys to try and help combat Zika and other mosquito-borne illnesses. But some outraged residents fear they may become guinea pigs and have launched a petition to stop this effort. So is this mosquito fighting plan the way to go, or should they say no to GMO? Joining us now with a little guidance on this question, family physician, Dr. Jennifer Caudill. She's also an assistant professor at Rowan University, and she knows a lot about this. It's great to see you, Doctor. It's good to see you guys. So this sounds a little scary. It sounds cool, but also a little bit scary to those of us who don't know anything about it. I, I think you actually characterize that quite well. I mean, even as a doctor, I'm kind of like, wow, but also like, woo. And I understand how the people of Florida might be a little... They might be a little weirded out, to be, sure. to, for lack of a better word. They don't want to be guinea pigs. They don't want things experimental happening with them. And there's big questions, right? Is this going to be safe? They're probably wondering. Um, for my family, my pets, me, the environment. And also, some people have ethical issues with the concept. Some people just don't want sure. genetically engineered anything. So let's explain what they're going to do. They're going to take yes. these mosquitoes down to the Keys. They're going to release them and hope that they breed. And then when they do, they will be a new form of mosquito that will pretty much instantly die. Basically, these are genetically engineered mosquitoes. Basically, they're, they're going to be built in a lab, essentially, mm -hmm. brought over here. The, the males are the only ones released that will mate with the females in the, in the environment. You're right. And the offspring will not likely survive due to the genetic information that well, the that male carries. that sounds great. That sounds great. But it's just but. because they <laughs> modified the but. gene of it. Could, if one of them bites you, you're saying, could, could it possibly so, so let's, do something You're to saying, you. what, what could happen? You're saying we just don't know. There's so many variables. Well, okay, there's a lot of things we actually do know about this. First of all, genetically engineered animals have been going on since the 1980s, the FDA reports. And the concept of doing trials with genetically engineered mosquitoes have happened in other countries, South America, etc. Mm -hmm. Because of yeah. other diseases? Because of dengue, because of chikungunya. Remember, these mosquitoes that we're trying to reduce, the 80s Egypti mosquito, mm -hmm. not only carries Zika, but carries yellow fever, etc. Now, one thing I should say is that the FDA did release a preliminary report that said, to answer many of our questions, it preliminary thinks that it's, it's safe, a relatively safe and unlikely to have harms to communities, to environments, to people, and to animals. Well, wait a second. I mean, Zika obviously is a great threat, but malaria kills millions and millions of people every year. If we can eliminate mosquitoes, why haven't we? Well, I think that's what we're working on. And the thing about it, so the other thing is people say, well, why do we have to do it this way? Why can't we just use insecticides or larvicides? Because DDT like got banned, that's why. Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the question is, why can't we do it other ways? The company who's producing these mosquitoes argues that, you know, we have these other methods, but it simply may not be enough. Remember, let's look at the big picture, and there are a lot of sides here. We are talking about protecting against Zika. The CDC has stated that Zika causes microcephaly and birth defects, and I don't think a lot of people realize what that means. That means potentially a generation of children could be born with problems walking, seeing, hearing, developmental delays. Right. This is potentially a big problem. So what we have to do is look at our best science and see what could work. And I know there are a lot of fears. I completely understand that. But what I think really needs to happen here is, in, is, is really good communication. That's what needs to happen mm -hmm. amongst the citizens in Florida, the company that's producing this mosquito, and the FDA. We need good information. Well, speaking of the UK company pushing for that mosquito plan has issued a statement. They say, we look forward to this proposed trial and the potential to protect people from mosquitoes and the diseases that they spread. Do they need to be doing more? Is that what you're saying? Um, who? who who's the company they? who's pushing the mosquito. Um, I, I think that what they're doing is actually a, a great thing. I, I think that it's, a, it's, it's, it's not experimental, but it's kind of new to us. Right. I think we need options. So I think this is really important. We need to be looking at our options. And in the meantime, yes. until those mosquitoes take hold across the country, if they ever do, right. use a lot of bug spray. Use a lot of bug spray and be careful where you travel and go to yep. CDC.gov, which has a ton of information about this. Right. The, the importance is to, to, to base our information on facts, not on fiction. Doctor, thank you very much for making a couch call today. <laughs> it's good to see you. We feel better about it now that we know. Thank you, Doc.